basically uh, started uh, to pr practice music uh, in my teens. And uh, from there, I went to Berklee College of Music, where I graduated in jazz composition uh, back in 96. And uh, this is how I really got deeply into music. Of course, uh, to feed my knowledge, I needed to listen to a lot of music. And uh, because of the situation of uh, CDs versus LPs, uh, LPs uh, started to become very cheap and uh, were laying everywhere around. So uh, when I started to study in, um, in Boston, so that's how I started to buy a lot of records. My job after my graduation, I didn't make my life into music uh, because uh, the studies were so hard that I had to take a break. And uh, then I became a book dealer, uh, specializing into photography. And I did this over more than 20 years. And I really got deeply uh, uh, into it. My secret garden was my, the music and uh, my record collecting. And so at some point I asked myself, how could I combine my job like publisher and book dealer with my passion that is music? The first contact you have with the music is the record cover. It's the very first contact. So you have to make it happen there. So how do you do? You have to have good ideas. I think originally uh, there was no relation between the cover and the music. It's after the World War II and for commercial reasons that people started to work on record covers. And of course, it mostly happened um, in America where they were much stronger about uh, trying to sell uh, records. So they had, it's, it's, it's a commercial object. So you had to make it attra attractive. The idea, the intention was to capture the eye of the customer. And uh, I had this idea to come up with, um, yeah, to combine photography and, uh, and record covers. How do you come up with such a project? By, in the very beginning, I started to uh, make a list of photographers, to, uh, uh, of famous photographers who were uh, established photographers, world-known photographers, and this, is, was my, this was my starting point. And then I, I uh, looked for record covers that they would have done. And I was quite surprised because um, if you go before the 90s, let's say, every photographer went through the process of making a record cover. Famous photographer who made record covers, this was one subject inside the entire project. But then we also decided because there's so much to say, there's so much photography and so many angles that you can um, uh, take care of that uh, the idea was, how do we try to present all this? And this is how we came up with uh, all those little chapters, which are, uh, again, endless. The impact of the record cover is something very personal. And on top is the music that is on the record gives you also or gave you also in, in emotion then it takes you back to memories and this is the beauty also of it you know this is why i also put so much records up on the walls because i to make the collection alive as well uh, because uh, if you only see the spines it's boring, <laughs> you know, in my, in my perspective. <laughs>